It's first and goal from the two, right? The crossing route in front of you is not open. And then you decide to go. Lentz on first down. Looks. He's rolling. There's Lane. There's Lane. I, I got in. He's rolling. He's going to run. Um, obviously, it's been a rough, rough day for me. When he got into the end zone, he took a big shot. The one eagle you can least afford to lose. You know, I have a ton of faith in the in the Lord, and I know He's trying to grow me in something, teach me something, use me somehow, some way. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Obviously, it's been a rough, rough day for me. I'm not gonna lie. You know, if life was, if we, if we got everything we wanted in life, it would be a disaster. You know, I know Jesus is, is up there looking down, and, and he knows what he's doing. Uh, I can promise to everybody, all my fans out there, um, in the Philly area, in the North Dakota area, um, this will not stop me going forward. I will come back stronger than ever. Um, this, I will use this as motivation, um, and then I will be attacking it. Um, this whole process as I recover. And so here comes Carson Wentz. You're being picked in the top two. Yep. Is there added pressure simply because of where you were slotted and where you were picked? Um, not really. You know, I mean, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be great, have a lot of high expectations, but um, you know, you don't you don't worry about that. You you don't you try and block out all the noise. Carson Wentz, to me, has the bust. The biggest crowds he played in front of college football were like 17 and 18 thousand. I hope you're excited. I hope that. Uh, I hope you're hopeful, Carson. You're gonna need it. He goes, in the program he came from, they've been dominating way before him, and they're gonna dominate way after him. They start 3-0, and and the guy just was the MVP of the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz sounds like a guy that's a bit insecure. Set a franchise record for touchdown passes with like three weeks left in the season. I mean, Carson Wentz has blown everyone away in the first two years here. Carson Wentz just threw a beautiful pass for the touchdown. When Carson Wentz got hit hard at the end of that play, Obviously, it was a pretty, pretty hard hit on my leg, and you know, I didn't know exactly what it was at the time until I started walking to the huddle. I, I knew something was unstable in there. Well, nobody wants to see this. Carson Wentz is going off to get looked at. You'll get a better idea of what he went through. He's a big-bodied quarterback, a big target, and he got hit hard. get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. You don't want it better than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. 
Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? He said, sleep is for those people who are broke. I'm going to show you how great I am. In the 17th chapter of the book, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power. The problem is, you ain't never felt no pain before you saw I dare you to take a little pain. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will. Now, what are you going to do? You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep, because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. I choose to fight back! You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success! You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm gonna say it again because you might have missed it. All men are created equal, some work harder in preseason. Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion.